Right then, hello and welcome to another one-off. We're having a look at Formula Kart Special Edition. And yes, this game it does like the loading screens very similar to uh, that of Monster Trucks. Now you will notice that the game looks remarkably similar to those of the Midas Interactive games. Only this game actually came out in 1997 and not 2004 and still looks totally garbage. Um, so yeah, you can forgive it that it does look the way it does because of the year that it came out. Um, for this video alone, we're going to keep it on easy. We're going to keep the laps at six. Uh, we're going to keep damage off as well. The only thing that it does is slow the cart down. So it's not really, you know, integral in the uh, in the races. Uh, tilt, we're going to keep on normal. You can actually input your name in this game, though, uh, unlike Midas Interactive games where you can't. Um, so there's a number of modes you can do. There's a two-player split-screen mode as well, which is, you know, pretty damn good. And you have practice single race, which is exactly what it says on the tin. It's just uh, you can do a single race on any of the tracks that you got with the AI. Practice, you can just practice the tracks to learn them. Uh, arcade and championship mode are pretty similar. Uh, the only difference is in arcade mode, you have uh, two usable items um, and you win money as well. So you can actually purchase those items again. Uh, and that is a speed boost and it is a total grip or maximum grip where your cart doesn't slide around all over the place. Um, we're not actually going to worry about arcade mode. Like I said, it is exactly the same as championship. Uh, so we're just going to do that instead. Um, you get given a couple of carts that you can use as well. They all have different attributes. Uh, the one that I usually use is, where is it? Is this one, which is, you know, not too bad. Um, but I'm going to go for something with a lot more grip. Um, uh, this one seems all right. We're going to go with cranky. What is that? Cranky shock something bark i don't know i can't even read it it's too pixelated which is what these games are usually like so uh yes there's uh i can't remember how many tracks there are but there is a, a bonus track you can unlock as well if you can complete the championship mode i think it's four times and you get given a bonus track but we're not going to do it four times going to go do go through it once and then i'll put a cheat code in so we can actually get the bonus track so you can see what the whole game has to offer and away we go. Now this game, unlike Midas Interactive Games, which looks fairly similar to, uh, is actually quite a competent game. It's actually quite enjoyable as well, albeit a little bit short. Uh, and you get a couple of uh, viewing angles as well. You've got the onboard, of course, which is something they didn't really get back in 1997. Um, but yes, you've got the usual chase cam as well, which is standard with any racing game. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it, really. The tracks are very tight, very twisty. And uh, even though it's set on easy mode, the races are not easy. The AI do like to rubber band, and they can pass you with ease and just cause misery to your racing experience. Well, two laps to go. And notice as well, you've got little uh, pit areas, so you do, you know, run out of fuel if you do the longer races, so you do have to go into the pits. The AI go into the pits as well, so it's not just you. Um, but because these races are only set to six laps, uh, that is not going to be a problem. And there we go, race one, and we win. Hooray. Uh, the best lap was 1499. And now we have to wait for everyone to cross the start finish line before we can actually exit, which is now. So, yeah, there we go. That is what this game is pretty much like. 
And again, you got the lovely CD whirring loading screen, which I guess is, you know, different from the usual static screens. Um, now, the thing is, it says your best time was 14.99, but it says ranked second. Now, I don't know if that is because of the time or if it's because of something else, because I've got the fastest time on the majority of the tracks that I've, you know, tested this on before. And sometimes it says I'm ranked fourth, so I really don't get it, but... Oh well, it doesn't make any difference. These older games, they, they really didn't make any difference anyway. And there we go. Right, let's go on to race number two. We get 11 points for winning the first race, and it goes to 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bit of a weird points format, but there you go. So, uh, yeah, standing so far as we go on to race number two. I can't remember how many races there are. I think there's either seven or eight. So, again, it's, it's not a long game. It doesn't have much in the way of replay value either. So, you know, what you see is what you get. And go. And of course, where you finish in the previous race is where you start for the next race. Let's use a chase cam for this one, I think. Also, sorry as well if I sound a little bit congested. Um, I am a bit congested. I've got a bit of a sinus infection thing going on, but yeah, it's a bit weird. Nothing I can do about that, sadly. Oh, come on. Music is very lackluster. I think they tried to go for a Ridge Racer style soundtrack and they failed miserably. Great lap, thank you. Final lap. It is easier just to bump off the walls and get around the corners that way, but as you can see, the AI do catch up very quickly. And we get another victory. Hooray. And we win by 0.8 of a second. So, yeah, not bad. Uh, best lap time was a 2017. There we go. Race over. So we'll probably be ranked fourth in times or whatever. But, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a weird thing where it comes up with, uh, you're like, ranked fourth. So immediately you think, oh, I finished fourth place. But, no, it's, it's to do with the lap times. It's weird. There you go. Ranked third on that one. So we get another 11 points in, and that means we are now 22 points. Oh no, we only got 10 points for that one. Oh, okay, I get it. They give you a, a bonus point for getting the fastest lap time. So even though myself and Paul McCracken, yes, Paul McCracken, we were tied on the best lap time of 2017, but they gave him the bonus point. So I only got 10, he got 8. You cheeky bastard. Anyway, 21 to 15 then. That is a bit naff, isn't it? But then it's not the first time, um, it, during the practice run of this uh, the other day, a couple of races I actually got the uh, tied the fast lap time and they always give it to the AI, they don't give it to you. Or if you cross the start finish line, dead on, it's a dead heat, they give it to the AI. Yeah, a bit of a dick move, but oh well. I'm gonna go back in cart for this one. And away we go. Yeah, you can see that the, the tracks are awfully twisty. And it uh, can get a little bit confusing if you haven't played this game before. Oh, and then the music kicks in. Get off.
So yeah, as you can see, it's not easy to try and keep up with the uh, the AI, but doing our best. Uh, come on. Nope, don't go into the pits. Coincidentally, if you do have to go into the pits to like refuel or fix damage, um, it puts you like a pit speed limiter of like five miles an hour. So if you go in there accidentally, then uh, you can kiss your race goodbye, pretty much. I'm not doing very well on this track at all. Oh, come on. At least it tells you on the top right there how far you are ahead of the bloke behind and how far the bloke in front of you is as well. So it's a nice little touch that they've added. Final lap. Fuel low is what she said there. Yep, sadly, we're going to end up third in this race. Oops. Oh, well. That should still keep us the lead in the championship, so not all doom and gloom. And there we go. Race over once again. Hooray. So, yeah, that is what you've got to contend with. Imagine what the game is like on hard. It is very... Im well, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it's incredibly hard to try and keep up with the AI. The only way you're going to win is if you have the lap set to a, a longer length so that the AI go into the pits and probably outrace them that way, but I don't know. Anyway, we ranked first on that one, so we should get the bonus point for the fastest lap time. And uh, no, we don't. See what I mean? It's a bit weird. So uh, Jason D. Sisso or Sikio or whatever got the fastest lap time. But it said I was ranked first, and yet I didn't get the fastest. I don't understand. It doesn't make a blind bit of sense. Not at all. So that means we're going to be one point ahead of Paul McCracken. Oh, I'm, I'm glad his name is Paul, not Phil. But there you go. Anyway, next race, please. So, yeah, race... What's this? Race four? They do have... Uh, uh, nations as well for each of the tracks, but it doesn't tell you what track you're racing on. So I think the last one was like Austria or something. I don't know. Or England. Something like that. Anyway. Off we go. And this track is quite fun. It's got very tight hairpin. And it's pretty... Well, it's pretty small. This track is tiny. We go come to the end of the lap already. I think this is in Holland because of the windmills. I'm not sure. It will tell us at the end. Go on, get out of the way. Now the music has gone to this strange Euro beat. Something that you would hear on a uh, knife. That's what I call music compilation CD. Right. Get out of the way. Oh, we got to catch up. We've only got two laps to go. See how they just pass you? It doesn't matter. Like I said, this is on easy mode. On hard mode, it's even worse. Come on, get off the wall. Yeah, get the final lap text off the middle of the bloody screen. Now, if you're going to make a racing game, do not have the final lap text covering the entire goddamn screen when you're trying to win a race because uh, it just distracts you. You can't see where you're going. Anyway, another third place, as you can see, is certainly not easy to catch up and pass. But, oh well. I wonder if we'll get a bonus point for the fastest lap time. Probably not. But we'll see. I do really like the uh, the spinning up disc 
little effect that they have there and it just zooms off to the right hand side so yeah it says i was ranked first but i doubt i got the fastest lap let's see uh no that was paul mccracken of course it was so we've now tumbled down further two laps behind paul mccracken uh john stewart though is closing up in third place mike beaton is now tied with simon lacy with six points okay next race And I think this is a very short track as well. If we have no luck on the uh, in-cart view, we'll have to go on the out outside camera. But on your mark. And go! go. <laughs> yeah, we should win this one. I think this is England. Because of the roadworks and the cows in the fields, I'm not sure. Oh, don't go into the pits, that's a bad idea. Or it might be Germany with the autobahn or something, I don't know. Tell you what though, these short tracks would be ideal on a game like Destruction Derby Raw. 16 cars on a tiny little track like this. It would be mayhem. Or even Demolition Racer, because that game is fantastic. I'm leading by 1.9 seconds on the previous lap. Now we're leading by 4.02 over Stewart. Probably increase that a little bit as we go to the final lap. 5.75. And there we go. That was a very, very easy victory. And we won... In the end, by 7.86 seconds over Stuart. Even my little driver doesn't know how to navigate some of the corners. Bloody daft. Anyway, so we should now retake the lead in the championship because uh, McCracken didn't finish second because Stuart did. So he probably finished third. I'm not sure. Uh, see, again, ranked eighth, but we won the race and... I bet we got the fast lap time as well. Yeah, we did. So we got the fast lap. So we won the race, got the fastest lap time, but it then says that we were ranked eighth. Oh, maybe it's maybe it is down to the lap time because look, it says Cav 1826. So maybe if I got that time, then I would have been ranked for. I don't know. It doesn't really tell you. Uh, but yeah, Paul McCracken finished third in the end. So that means I'm now retaking the lead with 42 points to 38. So it's still very close. Anything can happen. But I'm I am hoping that we are gonna win this one. I think this is Japan. I know one of the stages is set in Japan. But uh it's hard to tell which. On your mark. On my marks. And go. go. Yes, off we go. Okay, that was that was a sound effect I haven't heard for a while. That sort of uh, weirded me out a bit then. Get out of the way. Will you get out the sodden way? At least you can push the AI out the way. They're not just stuck on a rail system. Oh, no you don't. Get out the way. No, no. Oh, you son of a bitch. God damn it. 
Well, they all seem to have stopped in that one corner there, so it's given us a chance to catch up, but you can see how difficult it is to catch and pass them, because if you take a corner a bit too slow, they come to a dead stop, but then they speed off again immediately. Ah, come on, get a move on. And Stewart has just buggered off into the lead. Come on, don't push me out the way. No, come on. Oh, will you stop it? See, you put on the brakes and the cart just goes to a dead stop. Yes, get the text off the screen. Again, more Euro dance beat mix. Nope. Yes, I know my fuel is low. I'm trying to get past this doofus. Okay, we managed to salvage second place. But my god, you can see what it's like. Again, this is on easy mode. Everyone else is buggering off into the pits to refuel. But uh, yeah, there you go. Another race done. Uh, we should still keep the lead in the championship because uh, Stewart won the race and he's still quite a few points back. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. So uh, yeah, we ranked second that time. So who got the fastest lap overall? Uh, it was SH, 32.43, I got a 32.63, but Paul McCracken got the fastest bloody lap time, of course he did, again, exactly the same lap time as the, uh, the fastest, so that was Brazil, apparently. Okay then, uh, 49-44, I think this is the last track as well, I think this is, I think this might be Japan, there's like a indoor metropolis kart track thing, it's a bit weird. It's quite a nifty little concept, though. So I'm just hoping we win because we do need to win the championship. On your mark. Anyway, on our marks. And... Go! With a giant scary moon in the skybox. If I seen the moon that big in the sky, I would literally shit bricks. Because that would uh, literally tear the earth apart and flood everywhere with tsunamis and this, that, and the other because of the tides. But yeah, look at the size of that thing. It's like from the film Melancholia. Coincidentally, if you haven't seen the film Melancholia, I suggest you do because it's a very good film. Great lap. Great lap indeed. Not the fastest, I doubt, though. This song sounds a bit like uh, Tori Amos in Professional Widow. Great lap. Oh, will you stop and get out of the way and let me win the race, Stuart? Oh, morphing through the scenery. Final lap. Fuel yeah, my fuel is low, but it's enough to get me to the end. Nope, sod off. And yes, we do win. Hooray! Now everyone's going to go into the pits because their fuel is running low. 
and Stuart was 1.4 seconds adrift in the end. So, yeah, not too bad. So get onto the standings, and I do believe that was the last race. If I'm uh, correct. If I'm not, then we've got another race to come. I think that was the last one. Uh, ranked second that time. So who got the fast lap? I bet it's McCracken again. Uh, no, I did get the fast lap time. Uh, not by much, though. So uh, 2472 was the uh, previous fast lap. Championship standings then. 60 to 50 to 46. And is that it? Nope. Nope, still got another race then, it seems. I think this is the last race, though. One of them is the last race. It does end eventually. On, your mark. On our marks. And go, 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 go. Oh, we're in Egypt. Either that or Paris has had a makeover. One of them. Or it could be Las Vegas. This is the original concept for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Keating was second that time. Great lap. Two laps to go. Leading by two seconds over Keating. Now he's decided to overtake me again. Take it back. There we go. And we win by 2.93 seconds. And our fast lap time as well was a 20.12. So, yeah, not bad going. Um, again, I do believe that might be the last race, though. Probably isn't. Probably getting all confused and mixed up. But we shall see. Do we get the fastest lap time as well? Ranked third. So, no, sadly. Didn't get the fastest lap. Uh, although we did on that race, so, uh, well, the, uh, fastest lap, though, was MJC 1964. Oh, anyway. So, 71 to 53, 48, is that the last race? Yes, it was. So, we win the championship, we had five race wins in the end, four fastest laps, and a total of 71 points. So, we ranked third. Again, it would say if it was the fastest lap time that we ranked on, but it doesn't. It doesn't say anything at all. It just says, oh, you ranked third. It's like, no, I won the championship. Thank you very much. So yes, that is uh, what the championship mode, and imagine that is exactly the same as what arcade mode is, only you have like the, the speed boost and the, the higher grip little items that you can use. Um, besides that, no difference at all. So now, if you go into options, uh, go to your name and enter, right, we want to clear that. Enter your name as Woodstock. Then that gives you a bonus track and you can race on the moon. Like, uh, yeah, like astronauts. Uh, so if we do a single race then, uh, you can see the, the track information. So that was Germany. Then we had France, Australia, Holland. So yeah, the one with the windmill was Holland. So there you go. Uh, then it was England, then Brazil, then Japan. So yeah, the indoor track was uh, Japan. And then Egypt, so I was right on the last one. And then we have the moon. Ooh, we've not raced this one before because I've just unlocked it. Um, apparently there's another cheat code as well to unlock a really fast cart, but it doesn't work. 
So yeah, we're stuck with the with the base carts, but that's fine. Now only uh, this track is only the moon in name only. There's no like lower grip or anything like that or low gravity. Um, it's exactly the same. It's just uh, it just looks like it's set on the moon, and that's about it. And off we go. Now, do you see the big mistake here? I'll go another lap and I'll see if you can figure it out. So this race is set on the moon, supposedly, and yet you have the same skybox as you had in Japan. And you can see the moon in the skybox, so if we're on the moon, then how come you can see the moon in the skybox? Makes no sense. That must mean then that uh, it's all faked, it's all been uh, made in a hangar somewhere in uh, Nevada or something, I don't know. But yeah, they, they couldn't even make it a new skybox to have, like, the Earth just floating there in place of the moon. No, they have the moon there instead. But then, if that's supposed to be the Earth and it's the same skybox as the one in Japan, so that means Japan is set on the moon. Doesn't make any sense, does it? No, nope, no, nope, it doesn't at all. But yeah, there we go. That is uh, Formula Kart Special Edition. And, um, yeah... There's, there's not really much more you can say about it. It is a rather bare-boned game, but it's, it's actually a competent game for when it was released in 1997. Unlike the Midas Interactive games that were released in 2004 that have about 1% of enjoyment compared to this game. So, yeah. So anyway, that was uh, Formula Kart Special Edition. And all that is left to do is uh, to end the video. So uh, I'll leave it here for now. Thank you very, very much for watching, as always. And I'll see you next time for another one-off. So take care, stay safe, and bye for now.